Hey everybody, mistake number one. Actually, it should be mistake number two because I created the whole bag and then I had to take it all apart again because things just weren't right. When I looked at how the this looked on the bag, it was sitting wrong and I noticed that it was actually the original way I put it together. So I'm taking the whole bag apart and trying from the beginning but as it is you you always have mistakes happen let's see how many i go through <laughs> and whether or not i can actually save this bag so i have to take apart this particular part because i had cut into it and there's a not, not enough left on that piece for me to re-sew it and it's really a a good fix it's not that hard when you have a piece that's given you a problem and you have some hardware on it it's it's possibly something you can save so let's try to save it I could have cut this apart and just taken the clap the um, the hook whatever the darn thing is called and just re-sewed it all together but I have the other half of this triangle from the original pattern um, you could get the pattern through Lynn's Handmade and she has a great video on how to put this together and so do oh, so many other people um, the biggest problem you have when you make a mistake and you have to redo everything is taking off those little tiny threads that you seam ripped they are the bane of my existence. If I can save a piece, I mean, look at all the stuff I have. I have great waterproof canvas. I have a beautiful design. I so want to save this. And since I've already cut into it, I just want to use it the way it is, see if I can't get it to um, make it into the bag that it, that it so desperately wants to be. I... Um, I have several times done this where I've made something and I've had to stop and undo it and put it back together again. And I, I don't think, um, I'm not sure, but I don't think you can make something and not have something go awry, whether your machine acts up, whether, you know, you've, You've stitched something the wrong way, which so often happens. All right, so again, we got to get rid of a lot of those little tiny threads, which is why I'm going through this pretty quickly for you. I, d I don't think you need to see that in real time. I do have um, a big mess on the floor, but even though I'm trying to get it into the garbage. so. If you look, you'll see that the hook, the uh, eyelet, uh, the connector is just a little askew. I'm not taking that apart. I'm like, I no, we're just leaving it the way it is. It is not that bad. I'm going to take this off and most of the sewing I do is going to be off camera and then I will come back in. There's, you know how to sew, hopefully. And if you're not, there are great tutorials out to help you get going. I'll do other things with sewing up close, but not with this one. And one of the nice things about this is that I've done a couple of these and I finally figured out what my problem is. You have to, if you're going to make a bunch of these, it's best to do it. Do one as a sacrifice one <laughs> and then you get all the kinks out and you know what you got to do when you go and do the next one I find that if I leave this for a while and then I come back to it I end up making a ton of mistakes and I had my, sh my machines were down they were broken and then I had to get an appointment can you believe it I had to get an appointment to get um, my machine serviced, both my embroidery machine and my sewing machine. The nice thing, however, was that I actually uh, upgraded my one, my 
normal domestic machine to a sort of like a next level and I'll do a I'll do a close up on that one later but right now we're just we're we're talking about <laughs> fixing the first of many mistakes now like I said the original mistake goes back before the video started now I'm just opening this up and looking for the connection did I catch everything right does it look right is there any mistakes and I find that I have to do that now because I've I just I don't think I could take this apart again it will it will wreck my brain I use a it's a plastic bone folder it's not really bone I used it in paper crafting and it for me it works real well to push out the corners See, see all these little threads? Oh my God, how much thread can you leave? And then if I should have, oh, look at another mistake. Oh my God. Okay, so even though we had these issues, we pluck along. Look, more thread. All right, so there's a, a lot of times when I'm sewing, I find that I, I have something where either I misunderstood something or <clears throat> I put something on the wrong way or it didn't sew correctly. And it's really not that hard to take it apart and try again. The horror is when you're using leather, cork, well, yeah, yeah, cork, uh, vinyl, once you sew something, it's going to have these little teeny tiny holes in it, and it's really hard to recover from that. But you try and see what happens. Maybe make the seam a little thicker than it, than it is called for. You can see here I'm really try, looking, looking at all of the seam and pulling out the thread that's leftovers from ripping the seams apart. Oh, the, the thread confetti that was here is absolutely ridiculous. All right, so we tried, <clears throat> sorry for the froggy voice. We tried again to do it. Does it make it? So far, it's not too bad. Sip of coffee. Let's see if we can do this right. And we're going to put something on. Does it go the right way? And no, it's not going to go the right way. I should know already that there's going to be another mistake somewhere. I should have known because this is the bag of mistakes. If you can make it, it was done here. Yes just for your pleasure and we move on I can't I have to say that the best way to make something is to make it and then make another one right behind it because and then make another one after that because once you've once you've made the mistakes it, you sort of get this rhythm going and you realize what you needed to do. I can't remember what mistake this was. Oh, this is the one where I, um, I didn't catch the seam right. And so I had to unpick <laughs> the end where I turned everything through because it didn't quite look right and it didn't catch the whole gusset. So I'm gonna hand sew this. I think the hand sewing for an interior of a, a thing is fine. And then it didn't sit right up by the zipper. There was a portion about an inch, two inches that didn't sit right. So I redid that one. Now I'm just setting everything up to hand sew. I'm just 
picking where I need to, re laying it down. It took a, a good 15 minutes to get everything to lay the way I wanted it to. And then I did a ladder stitch. And um, one of the hard parts about doing a hand sewing option is that you have a soft material, cotton, and you have a, a canvas. And they're, they're really two different materials. You don't want to use a thick needle on the, on the cotton and using a very thin needle on the canvas makes it difficult. So I had a, a pretty sturdy needle, but I needed to have like a thimble to help push it through. And in some cases I used my, my pliers to, to help me get it through. Is sometimes it would catch the, the canvas in such a way that I was stuck. I needed to, it's tedious but it's it's the best option rather than trying to turn the whole thing over again restitch it turn it back and see if you got it at least this way sorry for the the thing not working out right this way you can um you can get it the way you want it and it's already done it looks nice you don't have to um you don't have to pull it through again you don't have to birth it again. This particular purse, you have to birth twice. Uh, the first time it's not so bad, but if you have to constantly be turning it back and forth, it's tough. All right, and checking all the edges, getting everything in, and we're gonna put on um, the next part. Oh. Getting rid of all of those threads is really the bane of my existence. I don't mind having to redo something, but getting rid of the threads, because if you have a thread sticking through one of your seams, people are gonna just think that it's coming apart and you don't want that, it's a bad look. So best, better to have it, better to have it clean the deco veil coming off. It seems like when I'm using vinyl, the deco veil seems to detach from it very easily. Now, especially since I pulled this through uh, two and three times and I re-ironed it, but I have to be very careful. Use a towel, never do it on the front with the picture facing because it is a decal that they put on the vinyl and I learned through experience that when I tried to press it from the vinyl side, and everybody probably knows this already, but um, it was a mistake I made and I'm sharing it. I used a damp towel, did it face with the, the picture side up to try to get that decoville to adhere. And I ended up causing bubbling on my, uh, on my picture. Now I happen to use, I kept that bag even though I had bubbling. I, what I did is it was still hot so I, I used my bone folder and rolled over it to make it adhere again and it wasn't too bad. Um, for me it was fine. I, I'm, I would never sell it but so I just forearmed is forewarned, forewarmed is forearmed, I don't know however that goes. Warned should work. So I usually get the four, four points, which is the center points, both top and bottom and side to side. I get them attached and then I go from the top to the side, from the top to the side. And that way I try to gather in and get the material to spread out. Now I've already had this together once. So the canvas was already clipped. So it spread across evenly and now we're just going to trim it lightly. I'm looking in to make sure everything was um, attached well. That This is the thing that I find it's a, a pain in the butt to do, but it's better to just check it. Because while it's like this, it's so much easier to just check. 
Now, I'll give you an insight to what the problem was initially. Initially, when I finished this bag the first time, the two connectors that are for the backpack, I, I forgot to put them in the right spot. I had them on the front of the bag, which is where the dragon is, rather than on the back of the bag. And when I realized what I did after I turned it out, I turned it through, so I wasn't, I don't know what I was thinking. You know, like I, I've done this bag several times already. It's like the fourth time I made it. And I'm like, why? Why did, why did I do that? I have no idea. No idea. So see the duck veil coming off? So at this point, what I do is I use double-sided tape just to attach the top portion. I don't do it to the whole thing because you could see I already have uh, it stitched down at the bottom so i know that's not going to come out so i just need to have it stuck on there just to get through what i'm doing i'm going to trim it very lightly very carefully because i always have this fear i'm going to have to take it apart again and if i don't have any seam to stitch uh, i'm pretty much lost right even if i had to i would just make a smaller version of this bag I mean, everybody's making larger ones. I've made a couple of larger ones. Um, now, this part. Finally putting this part on. And did you catch it? You'll catch it soon. Have to check and make my, my points to connect. And here we are. And it's not getting through to me. Even though I'm, I'm pulling things through, I'm like, it always looks funny. I'm saying this to myself and I'm like, it always looks funny when I'm doing, you know. I have closed the zipper. I didn't open the zipper. Number one, had I really stopped to think about it? Because in my mind, I'm, something is wrong. I know something is wrong. Now for all, <laughs> just not an excuse, but they were working at the house. They were and uh, people were in and out, and I, you know, there was noise, there was, and it, it sort of concerned me when some of the people were, were like, oh, rah, 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 you know, outside. So, yeah, I got to pick this one off again. Mistake 5,492. And what I'll say is when I have to seam rip something apart, it really doesn't bother me all that much because it is kind of uh, zenning, except for this one because I am so frustrated and I cut the lining. That's all, not the, not the vinyl or the cotton. I just, I, I'm sometimes will take my piece. <laughs> oh. Mistake number 4,000, here we go. I didn't check to make sure my pocket was out of the way. <laughs> so I, I picked that off and then I re-sewed the outside. <laughs> because we are closer now. It is looking somewhat like the way it's supposed to. The zipper is open because I had opened it with the last one. And it, yes, guess what? It's the this is what it's supposed to look like when I turn it through. Thank you. Oh my goodness. What an, an ordeal doing this one pocket. And these are easy to do. May I just say that much? Lynn, Lynn has a great video on how to make this. If it's something that you're interested, get her pattern and pump it out. You can enlarge and, and shorten or or decrease the size of the of the bag as you wish it's um, great she has a great easy video on how to do this i suggest following that and not letting your surroundings dictate what's happening so make sure you get those threads oh my goodness picking off all these little threads i can't tell you i look like i had i was shedding thread my my uh shorts had threads all over them. All right, so are we close to the end? I think so. So we're just gonna check. Yeah, there's some puckering. I don't worry about that. 
that's not a big deal because it's it's the inside of the bag I know it's sewn I know it's gonna last In some cases it is sewn twice all right just getting that pocket in there that's the tough part because we're, we've got a cotton fiber and a canvas that I was put I probably should have used cotton for the inside of that but I didn't because I'm weird and actually a pair of long nose pliers really helps well <laughs> getting rid of those st stitches all right here we go and what I do is I I squish the the seams and try to roll them in my thumb and forefinger and I'm just doing a, a big check to see and then we're gonna pull it through sorry I'm out of camera frame I will fix that for the next video oh it's looking it's looking like it might have been all right maybe could it I don't know we shall check I do know that at the very least the connectors for the strap are, are in the right place finally so I take a bone folder I have it's not a real bone it's made out of plastic I think uh, that I use for paper crafting and I use it to push out my seams um, especially in a, in a bag like this because it has that well-rounded edge and it has a pointy edge but not so pointy it would push through um, and cause a hole I mean it might I mean, if you're really that problematic about putting stuff there and I push out I use the left hand my finger my pointer and my thumb to hold the seam and then I push from the inside I push that out and that's the one spot oh more thread um, just to get it to to sit right and then I just roll the seams get it to go and then I use my thumb and my my pointer and I roll the seams in between my fingers to get them to come together now it usually after a few few days of doing this you know it they start to sit right they have to get used to their new position now they're like oh my god what did you do to me and then they'll they'll just kind of make I have my other purse that I I made and it's they're sort of relaxed you live with it a little bit and it they kind of the the fiber seems to I don't know mold into what you've sewn it into yes the back of the canvas looks like it needs a pressing I don't worry about that right now what I want to do is make sure the seams are right nothing's going to come apart on me I'm grateful for the fact that if you've lasted this long thank you so very much and one of the things I'm trying to do is reach a thousand I'm not quite there yet I have I have a couple of hundred to go it would really help me if you would subscribe and share because if you've already subscribed I want to thank you for being here and watching and just being a part of my community I'm I'm happy to share my mistakes with you because I think everybody can learn. You can you can go online and find a ton of people that do things wonderfully. They have a whole production crew and everything. <laughs> you only got me. And I'm learning as I'm going. I really, really love how this turned out. Even though the fact that I did it again and then it came out the way I wanted it to. That's all you got to do sometimes is just try again. Just keep trying until it works. And he's so cute, isn't he cute? If you want to know about anything that I have here in my video, just leave me a comment below and I will answer. Um, I look forward to doing my next video, which is going to be the strap. Um, if you want to see how I made a strap, just see me in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.
Adiós, amigos.